lost their little boy and his two cousins in a fire 10 years ago. And now that same family is devastated by another fire. They kept mementos from their little one in a storage unit in southeast Portland. But yesterday, that storage facility went up in flames in a three-alarm fire. Amy Frazier following up on the fire, and she met with that family. So that's that smile you're talking about. Yep, that's his smile. This is the last picture ever taken of four-year-old Alex Shipley. I think about him like all the time. I mean, my youngest daughter, Jessica, it's a resemblance of him. In 2006, Alex went for a sleepover at his cousin's house in Salem while his mom cared for the newest additions to their family triplets. But during his stay, a fire broke out. His two young cousins died in the blaze. Alex died in his mother's arms at the hospital, something his grandmother will never forget. The day we lost him, those triplets lost him. January 23rd will mark 10 years since Alex's death. The family knew this year would be especially tough. But they never imagined this, a second fire. Alex's mom was storing what she has left of her son at the facility that caught fire Monday in southeast Portland. The family believes everything inside is gone. The fire truck is a quilt piece that, and I mean literally until there was nothing but a piece left of it. After he died, it was his, you know, the last blanket he had slept with, and she literally slept with it till there was nothing left of it. It could be days before they'll be allowed to see inside the unit. But it's not those things that keep us him alive. It's those pictures that we have of him burned in our mind. Those last moments we shared with him that we will never, that no fire can ever take away. In some small way, Alex's grandmother hopes the second fire will help her daughter let go of some of the pain she's carried for 10 years. I do think it's time that she put that hurt. I mean, nobody's ever going to forget him. Not, um, none of us ever will. But. The triplets need their mom. In the wake of this fire. That's my prayer. I'm hoping now that she'll take some time and, and let herself heal. In Donald, Amy Fraser, Coin 6 News.